This demonstration will concentrate on the automatic machining of Vax and is but one example of how Cabinet Pro's smart CNC rules make machining parts on custom cabinets quick, easy, reliable, accurate, and incredibly efficient. Let's look at two relatively simple tall cabinets where I've removed the doors, nailers, and some other parts so that we may concentrate only on how their backs are being machined. Here we have a 48 inch wide cabinet and here we have another cabinet whose width is 30 inches but otherwise essentially the same as the cabinet on the left. Let's look at how the backs of these two cabinets have been machined by Cabinet Pro CNC. To do this we can click CNC Direct from our report screen. This is a CNC simulator called Woodwop for the Wiki CNC router where we can see how our backs for each of our two cabinets have been machined. We can see the back for our 48 inch cabinet is machined much differently than the back for our 30 inch cabinet. And not only are they machined differently, but they are also of different lengths. But how can two cabinets that look so similar to each other be machined so very differently? To find out, let's look at each cabinet to determine why or why not machining has occurred. Here is a side view of the 48 inch wide cabinet. The back is colored red and is one inch thick for easier viewing. Notice that the top has a half inch inset into the back. This is the corresponding data for the top whose depth of cut is equal to half an inch. The two fixed shelves each have a 3 8 inset into the back. These are the corresponding dados on the back for the fixed shelves whose depth of cut are each equal to 3 8 of an inch. The two horizontal dividers have a quarter inch inset into the back. These are the corresponding dados for the horizontal dividers whose depths of cut are equal to a quarter of an inch. The two adjustable shelves in the middle section have been customized to be off-center from the face frame opening, while one adjustable shelf in the bottom section is centered between its face frame rails. Our face frame rails have been colored light green for easier viewing. Here we have the drilling pattern for adjustable shelves which has been set up to give five holes per shelf for one or two shelves. Notice we have two sets of adjustable shelf holes on the back because with Cabinet Pro we can tell the program when we want zero, one, two, three, or four sets of adjustable shelf holes based upon the width of the back. And according to our setup, because this is a 48 inch wide cabinet we are automatically given two sets of adjustable shelf holes. Getting back to our cabinet, we have a bottom that is inset into the back quarter of an inch. This is the corresponding data for the bottom whose depth of cut is equal to quarter of an inch. Finally, our back only extends to the top of the cabinet's top, not all the way up to the top of the cabinet. This is why our cabinet back is shortened. Now let's look at the 30 inch cabinet whose back is machined quite differently. Here is a side view of our 30 inch cabinet which looks very similar to what we saw before but with a closer look is very much different. On this cabinet you will notice the top is not inset into the back and neither are the fixed shelves. This is why we have no dados being machined here in our top opening. You will also notice the bottom is not inset into the back and our lower horizontal divider is not inset into the back which is why we have no dado being machined to accept either the bottom or the lower horizontal divider. But notice that we do have an inset of our top horizontal divider into the back, which is why our dado for this horizontal divider exists. We made four adjustable shelves in our middle section. In our setup, I defined my adjustable shelves to have five holes per shelf for up to two shelves, but to have a full set of holes if we have three or more shelves. So since we have four here, Cabinet Pro will place a full column of shelf holes in this section, which is why we see a full set of adjustable shelf holes here. And because of the width of the back and my settings, Cabinet Pro has placed one set of holes here. And finally, on this cabinet, I have expend, extended the back past the cabinet's top all the way to the top of the cabinet itself. This is why the back is longer than the first cabinet. Here we have re-optimized our cabinets so that the back and the unfinished ends are on, this, on the same sheet. You will notice that all machining lines up even though the parts may be of different dimensions in both length and width. 
As a side note, notice that the dado cuts for fixed shelves are shortened. This is because we shorten them in our design. Likewise, our adjustable shelf holes are moved from their normal position because we shortened our adjustable shelf as well. But our shelf holes in our bottom section have their normal spacing because that is a full depth shelf in our design. What you have seen in this demonstration are just some of the ways that Cabinet Pro's smart rules automatically create and adjust your machining as you design. You change your design, your CNC machining changes without you having to do anything else. And by the way, on top of doing all that we have shown, Cabinet Pro automatically adjusted each part's machining to accommodate any edge bending that will be applied later on. Cabinet Pro's smart CNC rules make machining parts on custom cabinets quick, easy, reliable, accurate, and incredibly efficient. And as we all know, increased efficiency equates to profit very quickly.